Good day, viewers. This is Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. Thank you for being part of today's episode. We are so grateful that you are watching the program. We pray that the Almighty God Himself will visit you right where you are and He will meet you at the point of your needs to the glory of His name in Jesus' name. I um, want to encourage that even as we watch today, please kindly call your friends and relatives, also all your neighbors. And uh, to please watch the program with you. If you wouldn't be able to host them or because they are far from you, you may just encourage them to please kindly log in on to www.dovemedia um, and then go to the live telecast. Or they can watch on Facebook. They can like Dove TV on Facebook and um, also on um, um, the Twitter. They can do all that they need to do and watch also on the YouTube. As you do so today, God will give you a mighty testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Now, we're going to be praying, and after the short prayer, we'll have a guest um, who's been handling the session on compassion um, will come in, and that's the person of Evangelist Bue Gashita, the president of uh, KPMI, that is Kingdom Power Ministries International based in the UK, United Kingdom, and in Nigeria. And you'll be blessed by his ministry, wonderful man of God. The Holy Spirit of God will use him mightily today to touch our lives. Now, if you don't mind, please kindly bow your heads as we pray together. Precious Father, we want to thank you for yet another program today. We thank you for the gift of life and for the opportunity to be able to do this program and thank you for healing the hurting. We pray that Lord we really want to thank you for all our viewers who have been watching this program and those who are just newly joining us today. We pray that you bless them tremendously. You will heal all the hurting today and you will minister to their needs. You turn every sorrow to joy Lord in the name of Jesus. We pray those who are weak you will strengthen them. We pray that those who are covered with darkness you will Remove the darkness and replace with light. Let there be joy. Let there be victory. Let there be divine intervention. Let there be miracle signs and wonders. And for those who are yet to know you or those who are backsliding, please, Lord, open their eyes and break every chain in all their lives and save their souls in Jesus' name. You are welcome back. This is Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. Um, like I said earlier, our topic today is Jesus, the, I mean, the compassionate restorer. Jesus, the compassionate restorer. That's our topic today. And we have in the house a um, wonderful man of God, firebrand by the grace of God, and the person of evangelist, Muega Shita. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to be on this platform again. Thank you so Thank much you. for being part of the program. And uh, we're grateful we're not taking your time for granted at all. And Pleasure. the commitment, the sacrifices you have put into the program to be able to be here. I really want to appreciate you and God in your life. God Especially God. because at this time that you're having a, 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 an international retreat yeah. that is going on, yeah. I could still find the time to come and do this uh, program. Thank you so much. So and I pray that glory. God will bless our viewers as we minister today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Um, so, viewers, uh, we'll just take one or two scriptures and then Pastor Boyega will take over. Maybe you will talk to us a little bit about your retreat later. But Thank you. I hope we'll be able to do that. If not for this one, we'll do another one, the second session. But let's just quickly look at this topic. And um, we. The, we are looking at Jesus, the compassionate deliverer. There are two examples in the Bible, I mean, the restorer. Two examples that came readily to my mind uh, on restoration that Jesus Christ performed in the Bible. Um, I don't, you may not be going that direction, but let me just uh, bring it up. Um, the first one is found in the book of um, um, Mark chapter 3. From verse 1 to verse 5, we'll find the story of a man who was in the synagogue and he had a withered hand. His right hand was withered. Mm. And then Christ 
was in the synagogue. He saw the man mm -hmm. with a withered hand, mm -hmm. and he was, the man did not even, perhaps did not even know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. The man did not ask for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, I'm sure he must have put himself in his place, in his position. In his mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. And he must have looked through what the man would have been going through mm -hmm. and what he was going through. Without the man requesting, mm -hmm. he offered help. Mm -hmm. And he offered a solution. And that's compassion. Mm -hmm. Compassion is mm -hmm. when somebody feels what you feel. Feel what other people feel. Mm -hmm. And he, he has a feeling for them yeah. and makes effort mm -hmm. to want to help them, mm -hmm. to reach out to them in their mm -hmm. pains. Mm. And, and that's what was Christ did yeah. to this man. Mm. And um, he went to the man and the power of God was released. Mm. And he said the man should stretch forth his, for his hands. Mm. And the man's hand was restored. And mm. the Bible says his, he, was, he had compassion on him and his mm -hmm. hands were restored, restored mm. whole. Oh. So compassion brought whole wholeness. wholeness. Mm. And so the restoration was a complete one. Mm. Now, uh, the second one, um, okay, maybe we should read it because I don't want to just talk. Yeah. Um, Mark chapter 3, we find it in verse um, 5. Yeah. It says, when he had looked round about on them with anger, mm. Mm. being grieved being for grieved. the hardness of their hearts, mm. he said unto the man, stretch forth thy hand. Mm. And he stretched it out, mm -hmm. and his hand was restored, restored. whole as the other hand. Mm -hmm. The hand was, a creative miracle was performed mm -hmm. because of the compassion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, the, and nothing could stop Jesus. See, when a man has a compassion for somebody, mm -hmm. you wouldn't bother about what people mm -hmm. are saying. Not at all. Nothing stops mm -hmm. you from showing mercy. Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. stops you from yeah. being, you won't be discouraged from showing mercy. Sure. Yeah, because mm -hmm. somebody said that, somebody mm -hmm. did this, mm -hmm. and then you know, compassion overrides obstacles. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the second example we found, uh, we find it in, um, in Luke, Luke chapter 7, please. Mm -hmm. And it's the story, Luke chapter 7. Um, we'll look at it from verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, and when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her mm. and said unto her, weep not. Mm. And he came and touched the bear. Yeah. And they that bear him stood still. Yeah. And he said, young man, arise. I say unto thee, arise. Mm. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Mm. Now, look at that. The, that was restoration. Yeah. The man was, the young boy was restored back yeah. to the mother. Mm. He was restored back to mm. the mother. He was restored back to the mother. Yeah. Okay? And compassion put an end to tears. Yeah. Absolutely. You see, when you have compassion, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, when you, somebody has compassion, you don't wait for them to call on you. Mm. Mm. Compassion moves you. Mm. It inspires you. It's, yeah. It moves you to action. Mm -hmm. you, you reach out to, you, you want to reach out. Yeah. You, know, the, you break barriers. You, you step out to reach out to people. You don't even care whether the fellow will accept it or yeah. not. Mm. You just want to sh show kindness. Yes. Show mercy. I was reaching you know, out, yeah. I was reaching out. Mm. And that's why the Lord said, I will have, the Romans says, I will have yes. mercy or compassion. Yes, or upon my will. I will have compassion. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, I just tell us to read. This is, this is a, a fantastic words you shared there. And um, one of the things you just mentioned now is um, very key in my heart. It would be relevant to uh, what I intend to share with the viewers. Um, Jesus saw that woman, and the Bible says the first thing was he had compassion on her. Now, she's lost three things. Now, because she lost her husband, mm. uh, her son was the hope, a replacement for husband. Mm. The son 
was a stopgap. Like a comfort. Like a comfort. A symbol of comfort, symbol of consolation. And hope. And symbol of hope. That was our destiny. That was our life. And so um, Jesus saw her weeping, saw the people weeping, and the only hope she had was being, uh, there was a funeral procession going on for his burial. And uh, she lost her joy. She lost her joy. So there's no man who will be able to comfort that woman at that time. The Bible says, Rachel weeping for her children, and she refused to be comforted because mm. they were not. When um, uh, uh, Herod killed all the children mm. two years and below in mm. Matthew's Gospel chapter mm. 2, mm. the Bible says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, Rachel weeping for her children because they were not, and she refused to be comforted. comforted yeah. May I pray for all our viewers, oh, may you yeah. never see trouble that will go with a narrative that you refuse to be comforted Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. It's the highest of trouble. It's the most painful. When people are saying, take heart, it is well, and you are saying, take which heart? Take which heart? Where is God? Why did God do this? You don't want to pass through that path in life. You know, our heart goes out to those who are in such situation. And we pray that through this uh, broadcast today, God will send healing Amen. to those in that kind of a situation and Amen. restore their joy, Amen. restore their life, and restore their hope in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. So for me, when Jesus saw the woman and had compassion on her, he was saying three major things she had lost. Her husband, not just that child, her husband, and then now she's lost her son, She's lost her joy. Mm. There was no joy in that family anymore. Yeah. The only hope was gone. Mm. And this compassionate Jesus. Again, I put it to you, Pastor Funcho, that on his radar, if you remember the last broadcast, I yeah. mentioned that God has a radar, spiritual radar, yeah. where he detects those who are helpless, mm. those who need help urgently. He just leaves his house and walks straight to where they, I used to watch this comic years back with my children, mm. Spider-Man. Mm. And then it's like Spider-Man has a radar where he sees where there's trouble and mm. he goes there to help them out, you know. So uh, yeah, cartoons and all that. I believe God has a spiritual radar where he sees those who are helpless. I mean, totally helpless. Look at the man at the pool of Bethesda. We yeah. talked about that. Yeah. Jesus left wherever he was, walked down there, attended yeah. to that man and left the place. Mm -hmm. Look at um, the other story um, that we also read, the man, the madman of the land of the gatherings. Jesus walked down there, took a boat, traveled there, healed the man, delivered the man, and got back. And mm -hmm. the list is endless. Even this we Including these, uh, 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 this woman here. Yeah. And then uh, we also look at the woman who was bowed over in Luke chapter 13. Mm -hmm. The crippled woman, the Bible says Jesus saw her, of course he had compassion in Luke chapter 13, mm -hmm. and called her and said, this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, oh, ought to be loosed from her infirmity. Yeah. And say, woman, thou art loosed. Yeah. I want to imagine a woman who was bent over that yeah. way. She could in no wise lift up her head. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. And that was her condition all through her life. And Jesus spotted her, had compassion on her. Compassion drives him. Yeah. All of his miracles, signs, and wonders are based on compassion. They operate mm. on the pivot of compassion. Take mm. compassion out of God, he stops to be God. Mm. You recall that one of our episodes, we also talked about the fact that when Moses wanted to know who God was, and he says, mm. Lord, can I know you? Mm. After several encounters with God, signs and wonders and all, they say, can I know you? I want mm. to know your glory. And God said, okay, let's keep an appointment. Mm. And the first revelation of God to Moses mm. was what? Compassion. Mm. The Lord, the Lord God merciful, mm. full of compassion. Sure. Now, there is um, this um, point I'd like to make, uh, Pastor, on this platform today, which I believe is going to bless our viewers. And I want to say to all our viewers out there, it's your season for total restoration Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We understand what's going on all over the world. Some have lost family members. Yeah. Some have lost jobs. Some have yeah. lost their health. In fact, mm. uh, statistics tells us now that mental health issues have risen in the Western world. Mm. People with depression, mental health problems, it has skyrocketed. And, you know, people are going through mental torture, emotional torture, 
fear of not knowing what next. People have lost their job. Mm -hmm. There has been mass uh, mm -hmm. mass uh, um, retrenchment, retrenchment in yeah. most yeah. Uh, organizations and all yeah. that. So we're at a point in the world where this COVID-19 pandemic has caused serious mayhem. But what is the hope of a believer? And that's why we're here to, today to say to you, you have a God who is a compassionate restorer. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 25, yeah. it says it will restore the years that the locust and the caterpillar, caterpillar. and the canker worm and, and the palmer palmer worm has eaten. He's the God of restoration. Amen. I was going through this and I found that, that the first time the word restore or cause in the Bible, guess who said it? Mm. God. Mm. The very first time the word restore mm. or cause. I did a search and I searched for the word restore. Mm. Now, the first time the word restore appears in the Bible, it was used by the Almighty God in connection to Abraham. Genesis mm. 20 verse 7. The Almighty God said to Abimelech after he had taken Abraham's wife. He says in verse, verse 7 of Genesis 20, he says, restore the man, his wife, for he's a prophet. Restore. God is the initiator of restoration. Mm. He takes delight in restoring people. He doesn't, God is not happy when you are down and out. God is not happy when you are spiritually down, when you are financially down, when your relationship is broken, when your marriage is broken, your family is down. Ministry destroyed. Ministry destroyed mm. is not in God's interest. Mm. He does not take pleasure in destruction of sinners, the Bible mm. says. Mm. The devil is the diametric opposite, of course. The devil is happy and excited demons and his cohorts, the devil and his agents and emissaries, witches and wizards, excited about that. But the Almighty God says, I will restore. That's mm -hmm. his word to you today. Now, Psalm 145, and um, we read verses number 14 and mm -hmm. 15. Hear this. The Lord upholds all that fall and raises up all those that be bowed down. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. The Lord uphold all those who fall, and then he raises up those who have gone down. That's the God of restoration. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then in verse 15, he says, The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their food in Amen. due season. Amen. My dear friends and viewers watching out there, the God who is your God, the Almighty God, mm -hmm. the King of glory, Jehovah El Shaddai, is a God of restoration. Mm -hmm. He specializes in bringing restoration to people, to lives, to families, to businesses, to finances. Now, let me also say this. Um, I, I looked through it, and mm. I saw that even in Exodus chapter 22, the Almighty God initiated the law of restoration. Mm. To see how passionate he is about restoration. Mm. He, first, we have been able to see that he's a compassionate God. In Hebrews uh, 4, verse 14 to 16, we have not an high priest who cannot mm. be touched by the feelings of our infirmities, yeah. but it was in all points tempted like as we are, mm. yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly onto the throne of grace. Okay, you know, so Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. Yes, so this is the point. God initiated the law of restoration. is a God who restores. I scribbled down a few points here about Job. And you see, Job... I, I always pray, Pastor, that nobody on this surface of the earth will go through what Job went through. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anybody has gone through that yet because this is, I think God put the story of Job here to set the highest standard. You know, to set the highest standard. God put the story of Job here. When I did a study on Job a few weeks ago, I, it was like I'd never read that passage of the Bible. From Job chapter 1, mm. chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, mm. chapter 5. Mm. A man lost entire children mm. in one day. Mm. He lost his business in one day. Mm. He lost his assets and wealth in one day. Mm. Job. Now, not only that, Scripture now declares that for, the, for Job, his maid servants and his servants, he will call them to run errands for him. They will snub him. He said it in the book of Job. Mm -hmm. He said, my servant, in fact, one part of the book of Job, he said they, they considered him smelling. He said, my, my voice and my mouth was stinking to my mm -hmm. own servants and to my own acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Then his wife, sweetheart, mm -hmm. 
Maybe he calls her honey and mm. the wife calls him honey. The wife, for the first time in their marriage, said to Job, look, I love God, I fear God. But for this one you are going through, this is beyond human uh, ability. Curse God and die. How would God do this to you? Yes, how would God do this to you? Curse God and die. Job came to the lowest part of earth. For a man to get to a point where he's cursing the day of his birth, where he's saying that, why did my mother give birth to me? He cursed the day of his birth. He said, why didn't that womb shut? Why was I, was I not aborted in the womb? So that's why I use the word, I'm not sure on earth presently, anybody has gone through what Job went through. Usually, if you look at the Bible, God sets what I call the highest standard. Mm. You know, a uh, hundred years old man and 90 year old woman given birth. That's the highest standard. You know, whatever comes after that usually is mm. like a below. So Job went through the most turbulent time of his life. But hear what the Lord says in Job chapter 42, verse number 10, 12, 13, and 14. The Bible says, and the Lord. Uh, restored back to Job what he lost. And the Lord turned again the captive of Job when he prayed for his friend. And the Lord gave him back twice as much as he had. Mm -hmm. So this is the point. Job was restored in terms of his finances. One. Two, Job was restored in terms of his relationship. Scripture says in verse number uh, 11, Job 42 verse 11, he says his brothers, his sisters, his nephews, his uncles, his acquaintances, his close friends, they came back to his house and started to eat with him once again. He was abandoned for seven years. His mouth was no longer smelling. <laughs> Thank you very much. His mouth was no longer smelling. So God wants to restore our finances like he did for Job. He wants to restore our relationship. God wants to also restore our family. And of course, the Almighty God wants to restore our life. And in addition to that, Scripture says that God wants to restore uh, the years that the locust and the caterpillar has eaten. And in the case of Job, I read that the Bible says, and Job lived 140 years mm. after God did his restoration. Mm. So he had 140 years compensation for all the things he lost. For the years of woe. For the years of woe. So I want to encourage all our viewers, the God who is our God is a God of total restoration. Amen. He was the first person to use the word restore in the Bible. Amen. And he also initiated the law of restoration. Amen. Praise the Lord forevermore. Amen. 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 There is somebody watching this program today. Mm. Your tomorrow will be better than your yesterday. Amen. Whatever you are going through now Amen. will soon be over. Mm. And God will give you better, better years to compensate your years of sorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, as we were speaking earlier, I had a ministration that somebody watching this program is as if your hope, your last hope was being buried. Mm. But do you know what? The God who raised up the hope for the whole world, mm. Jesus, he will raise up your hope again. Mm. I don't know what that hope is, mm. but God will resurrect it for mm. you. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. We're going to be praying with you now. Amen. And uh, if you have not given your life to Jesus, I want to encourage you. He's the only, he's a compassionate Jesus yeah. who specializes in restoring hope Amen. and restoring what has been lost and destroyed. Amen. The devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and for us to have it more Amen. abundantly. Amen. So we're going to pray now. You give your life to that Jesus. Amen. And whatever you've lost, the one who will take back what the thief has stolen, yep. he will take it and return it back to you. How he does it and how he will do it, Amen. we may not know, mm. but it will surprise you. Mm. Just bow your heads and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender Jesus. all to you. I may not know how. I may not know when. But I know you are able to do more than I can imagine. I confess my sins. I repent of my wicked ways. Please forgive me. Restore my life. Restore my joy. Restore my future. And restore my hope. Thank you. Above all, restore eternity back to me. And give me a new life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, please pray for the convert, uh, those who are praying their prayer. Yeah. And pray a man of miracles. Yeah. Yeah. And especially for those whose hopes are being buried. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I trust the Lord to do for many watching out there what he did for Peter. Peter said, I go fishing. 
the next episode, uh, I may speak on this a bit. He said, I go fishing, and many people went with him. And Jesus left wherever he was, went looking for Peter at the seashore. And Jesus brought him and restored him. He denied him three times. And Jesus made him to confess him three times. It was Jesus who went to reach out to him. The same Jesus, the compassionate Jesus, is here today. He wants to reach out to you right where you are. Wherever you are watching from, whichever part of the world, he wants to reach out to you. Someone watching us right now, as I was talking about the story of Job, he just reminds you of your business. You've been out and down. In the name that is above every name, the power that brings restoration, the power of Jesus is reaching you right now. Amen. In the name that is above every name, within the next 90 days, your story will be like Obededon's story Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is going to restore all that you have lost. Amen. Everything, nothing missing Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for restoration of people whose health is down. Amen. We declare restoration of your health. Amen. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 says, I will restore health to you and I will heal you of all your diseases, says the Lord. Amen. I declare healing for those whose health is down Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Somebody who's watching us, if you have faith, just key into this prayer right now. I declare that every growth in your body disappears now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare fibroids in the womb, obstructing conception. I command the fibroids to dry up and disappear Amen. now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody slated for a surgery, brain surgery. It's a brain tumor. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may the supernatural hand of God restore your health. Amen. I command the brain tumor to Amen. disappear. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody hearing the sound of our voice right now, we pray for healing for your son, a two and a half year old boy. You'll be watching this and the Lord is healing that boy and restoring his speech. God is restoring his hearing in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. I pray for a woman who is crying over her marriage. Your husband has come under a spell and has left the house and gone to attach himself with another woman. By the power of restoration, Jesus, the compassionate restorer, restores that marriage Amen. now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray for supernatural touch for Amen. everyone Amen. whose cases have not been mentioned. Amen. Let there be total healing. Amen, Let there be total recovery. Amen. Let there be total restoration Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for restoration for the nation of the world Amen. and we declare that COVID-19 will dry up Amen. from the face of the globe Amen. and let there be a bounce back for Amen. ministries, Amen. for lives, Amen. for people, for Amen. businesses Amen. in Amen. the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Thank Amen. you for hearing our prayers, Thank Lord. You, in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 And Amen. every one confessing, repenting, yes. receive forgiveness, yes, Lord. receive salvation, Amen. and be washed in the blood. Amen. Let your names be written in the book of life. Thank you. Every backslider be restored Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive a new life Amen. of God in you Amen. through Christ Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I just, I just, uh, uh, man of God, I just got a word now. Somebody was watching this. The Lord says, come back to me. Amen. I have forgiven you. Amen. Return to me, says Amen. the Lord. Praise God. Viewers, our time is up. It's never enough. But see you same time next week on Healing the Heart in Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. Pastor Boyega will be together with us again. And you cannot afford to miss the next program. Please tell everybody. And God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend.